Welcome back to our channel one more time. I would zoom out a little bit more, but my dresser is looking like a mess right now, so we won't zoom out. Excuse the crazy lighting, excuse the stick in my hand that I'm gonna throw over there. I am gonna just explain to you guys a little bit about this week's vlog, which you guys will see later on at the end of this video. I didn't record very much, so I just wanted to do guys, I just wanted to do an update. Let me know about your week down below. I would love to hear what you did throughout your week, and let's get started with my week. So, the first half of my week started off with a little bit of stress. Uh, my sister actually got is going to go to prom. The hello. Okay. I'm, I'm, sometimes I think like I'm the most ridiculous talker ever. I don't know why anybody listens to me sometimes. I'm so annoying at some points. But if you're here, thank you. Thank you for listening to your homegirl. But my sister is going to prom. And she had um, her prom dress like like fixed. Not tailored. I think it's called hemmed. I don't know. I don't know what word to say. She got it like fixed. Um because it was way too like long and it just didn't look on like it looked good but it wasn't what we wanted so we wanted to go get it fixed and then it ended up we ended up picking up picking it up at the beginning of the week and first of all the ladies were like really rude to us and then um they totally like messed up the dress like of course it was fixable but it was like more time more money to get it fixed again um but they like cut it way too short in the front and they just left the tail like really long they didn't really like proportion it out very much so it just looked funky on my sister and then the back was like open and we wanted that not like completely like where you couldn't see her back but we wanted like a sheer fabric on it and whenever we tried it whenever we put it on her um it just didn't click like the the back piece didn't wasn't it didn't cover her whole back like it was just not the right length of fabric that needed to go back there. So it was just kind of like a stress because I saw my sister, she's sad. And um, the people that we bought the dress from actually, or the company or the store or whatever that we bought the dress from actually had recommended these people to us. So we went to them and it ended up becoming a huge failure. So an update on that is that my sister actually got her her dress okay this lighting is really bothering me because i'm like super light here i'm like super dark here let me fix that real quick you guys because it's really annoying me okay guys that's a lot better we found this lady who is really good at fixing dresses and she just made us feel really confident and like really good about it unlike the other ladies who just like kind of like shut us out but at the end of the day we're getting it fixed i think today she's gonna go try it on so i will update you guys on the next weekly vlog which you guys will see next week this is for this week's or last week's it is so confusing okay but i'm just doing an update so this is this week's vlog and then the next week you guys will see it in the next week's vlog which is next week oh my gosh fun exciting news i am going to prom i'm going to prom i got my dress and i just want to show you guys a sneak peek of it because like i said you guys will see the rest of it on next week's vlog and plus it was just really stressful we actually freaked out whenever it was whenever my sister's dress was like ruined um we kind of like freaked out and we went like looking everywhere for a dress and we didn't find one so we decided to just go get her fixed because I'm like you love this dress we just need to get this dress fixed I know it seems like the end of the world right now but we can fix it can we fix it yes we can yes we did we did fix it we did so I want to show you guys just a little sneak peek of my dress and I think I'm gonna show you guys not the top because I feel like the top well it's like I don't know I think I'm gonna show you guys just the color and um the way I don't know. I'm just going to show you guys a sneak peek. I'm probably just going to like give it all away because knowing Leslie, she does that a lot. So here is the dress. It's a two-piece actually. It's not a dress. It's a two-piece. Um, and this is a fabric. It's just kind of like see-through lace and it has like, like a nude lining and it's super cute. It has some jewels. So that is my dress. Two-piece dress. It is long. I haven't found my shoes yet and promise in a week kind of freaking out but that's okay Leslie just kind of figures it all out first I was gonna wear a black dress like it's just this really simple oh I can get it the dress that I was actually gonna wear was this one and it has okay very simple as you guys can see this is just the top of it and it has a little bit of jewels on it and um it's just very simple 
simple, simple. And it's very loose fitting from the bottom. It's just really flowy. Um, and it was just really pretty. And I wasn't about to go spend money um, on a dress because I just don't have the money to go spend it on a new dress. Um, but my mom ended up offering to buy me a dress. Um, and I was just like, okay, but I'm not going to take advantage of that either because I don't want her going to buy me like a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollar dress. So my, really, like my goal was to find a dress under a hundred dollars that I loved. And, um, we went to a few stores and they were really pretty dresses. Um, and they were just <laughs> too expensive for me. So I got this one at Dillard's and they were on sale, like hardcore sale, you guys. So this dress, um, the two piece that I got was originally, um, $160 and I got it for 80 bucks, 80 bucks, you guys. So that's a great deal. Thank you, mama, because she always comes and, you know, helps me out. And I always appreciate that. And I love her always for it. It fits me pretty good. So I don't need to get it like hemmed anything like that because it fits me good and, and it fits me a little tight but I don't have a problem with that at first I was like I'm gonna go on a diet and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that but I'm like girl why why there's no point you have a week till prom just forget it it's okay if it fits you a little t too tight and move on one thing um that happened last week as well like around Wednesday or Thursday I believe I think it was like Thursday Anthony got really really sick but I was so disappointed because we took him to school to his new school that he's gonna go to and they did like a little tour and everything and we took him but he ended up getting really really sick and he ended up sleeping through like all of it he like stayed awake for a little bit but then he ended up sleeping through most of it and around 8 o'clock is whenever I chose to take him to the hospital he just had a really high fever like a really really high fever you guys just see him laying down on the bed um, and the hospital bed and that's all you guys really see I did ever explain it to you guys because honestly I was so tired that day and then the next few days was whenever we went out to go find my sister's dress or what would be her dress and never did but um what's it called he just got really sick he had like a really really high fever and I'm pretty sure his fever was like past like 105 because the um, thermometer kept saying error whenever I put the thermometer on him it just kept saying error and um it wouldn't read his temperature so it kind of freaked me out and that's whenever I took him to the hospital um but it was like this like it it just like it went from like okay to horribly wrong like alert alert so I took him into the hospital the weird thing was that his whole body was really really hot and his hands and his feet were freezing cold and it was just really scary for me at that point I'm trying to find my phone we stayed in the hospital for like three hours and they ran a whole bunch of tests on him and they found nothing sissy careful because mommy has a light right there careful go that way go that way because mommy has a light okay no yes go that way because I have a light hey. I don't want it to fall on you Okay, um, so, uh, he ended up becoming, like, they didn't, like, they took an x-ray of his chest, um, to check if it was pneumonia, I think that's what it's called, um, or that's what they were checking for, and then they took some, like, swabs of, um, at like the back of his throat, and then they stuck that thing up his nose for, what's it called, the strep throat test, um, and they said that that was okay, that he was fine, and so they were just, like, wondering what the heck was wrong with him. Um, they took all like his blood pressures and everything and he couldn't stay awake like he was in and out of sleep so he couldn't stay awake and um, it was just really scary for at one point and then I like my mom started praying and then we started praying like we just were like well we need to get this figured out and um, this needs to stop so we started praying you guys we started praying for him and he was like all of a sudden like five minutes after we finished praying he was a lot better and then at one point before we started praying which was whenever we started freaking out was he started throwing up and like it was getting bad like he hadn't ate for a while and he was started throwing up and throwing up and so we that's whenever we started panicking because before we took him to the hospital he wasn't throwing up and then whenever we got there he started throwing up and it just seemed like he was getting worse and then we started praying for him um and praying for him and he like he like literally like five minutes boom and then the doctor came in he was like wow like okay i guess you guys can go home so we got to go home and anthony like they're like well put him on some antibiotics but and he was so good after that like literally I don't know what happened honestly I don't know what happened that day but it freaked me out and um, the next day he was perfectly fine no fever nothing no throwing up he got home again I praise Jesus for that because honestly I feel like that was just a miracle all in all in itself and I want to tell you guys about some things that I've really enjoyed throughout the past um, few days that maybe to inspire you to go get something 
for you um, because sometimes we can be feeling so low and whenever I find myself feeling so low I will write in a journal I will read a book I will read a page out of the Bible a chapter out of the Bible I will try to do all of that but I find that my relationship with God is more like a friendship now it's more like I love like I love him I just love him he, I can feel his presence with me all the time I just love my God so much and um, I at one point like I've never been in this point in my life or point in my relationship with God where I feel like at a peace like just like so peaceful at one point um or so peaceful all the time um and for a little bit I was like I would be that person I'm like well I have to read the bible once an hour or like one time or like one hour a day um and I have to dedicate my whole like day uh, it was just kind of like I was trying to schedule things out but I feel like you can't schedule God out like or schedule God into your life he has to be in your life like into you like you have to be into him all the time and I like that can seem overwhelming but it's so simple like literally so simple um and like if you're struggling with that I totally understand and I feel like I can't tell you what to do because we all go through this adventure differently and for me it could work differently for you it could work differently for my children I'm walking with him now I understand when people say you walk with God like he walks with you and it's like I really really do like I will lay down and I'll say a prayer. I will wake up and I'll thank him for the day and I'll, you know, I'll thank you for being with me. I know you are with me and it's just so simple. It's so, it's such a good relationship. And of course, there's times in the week, times in the day where I really, really, really just feel like I need to spend time with him. Whenever Leah's taking a nap, whenever I have a couple of hours of free time, I will pull out, um, you know, a book, a bi the Bible, uh, I'll watch a video, spend some time with him, just really deep, 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 deep time with him because I feel like that's also very important. But I always feel like I'm doing everything and he's there and we're connected and we're speaking and it feels amazing and it takes a while to get to that point it takes stumbling and falling and then some people just know it but wherever you're at your point I feel like this point whenever you get to a point where you guys are like in an actual relationship where you guys are like actually friends is such a great great experience um, one of the books that I um, that somebody gave to me one of my really good friends from church and um, her family gave me this book and it's called Grace for Today One Minute Devotions which is great I do have two little kids and I also know how hard that can be um, and whenever you have a little one two little ones three little ones however many little ones you have it can be pretty difficult to even like you know have time for that or sometimes you feel so overwhelmed or I don't know what you're feeling but he's there with you but um, I know how hard it can be time to make like to make time and it's literally so fast like there's just like one page and then it has like um, the the months and then the days um, of when you read so today's May 2nd it says grow in Christ he's the image of the invisible invisible God and then it gives you like verse which is that one and then it says um, a little prayer at the end stand by me the Lord Jesus help me to grow in into the likeness of your image through the power and the guidance of the Holy Spirit amen so it's very simple it has a quick little prayer for you and then it has something to think about throughout your whole day one book that I've been reading and that I need I need to finish I've actually been reading it and I stopped all of a sudden like halfway through it this one my aunt gave to me for um she sent it to me um whenever she came down for my brother's funeral she said she wanted to send me this book because she felt like I just really needed this book so I did um I've been reading it but I just stopped I don't know why I stopped I feel like I don't know but it's called Robert Morris the God I never knew it just really talks about the Holy Spirit and how much he's in your life like how personal God is instead of like just like someone you pray to something you pray to like some someone you ask things for and expect something like no there's so much more like he knows you he knows your heart he knows your desires he changes he stirs things up so that's very important and then something else is journals 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 are so important for me um, whenever I'm feeling down I write in them one thing that I do want to start doing is oh I just want to write uh, my prayers in the morning or in the night whenever I have time I just want to write meditate so I can look back on if I ever do want to look back on my journals and see like what my prayers were what my answer prayer like the answer prayers that maybe I didn't know about maybe I wrote about something in my journal and whenever I read back to it it's like 
that's an answered prayer. And um, that's just what I've been wanting to do. I've also gotten a, quite a few things um, of makeup. Prom is coming up. Like I said, my sister is going to want me to do her makeup. My sister's friend's going to want me to do her makeup. I'm going to do my makeup. So we're just, I just decided to go out and buy a few things of makeup. And this has definitely not been like all in one trip, you guys. This has been like uh, multiple trips to the store that I've just been getting ready um, to. And the thing that I've been most excited about, the thing that I've loved the most, are these it cosmetic brushes um, for Ulta. They are just a pack of brushes. I've never had it cosmetic brushes. I usually just buy the cheap brushes, but I decided to splurge and buy myself some brushes um, and it just has a powder brush a foundation brush a concealer brush and like two eyeshadow brushes that I um, love I love this NYX palette I just bought things that I normally would buy that I've loved bought this NYX um, highlight and contour pro palette and it has just like all these highlight shades and um, contour shades and this is a powder palette not a cream powder not a cream palette um, I bought the uh, Maybelline New York in a lighter shade for my sister and her friend because they are a little bit lighter than me I believe I bought the Milani Conceal and Perfect for me to try out for prom. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've been I'm wearing it right now. I really do like it, but I feel like it's I, it's not the one that I'm gonna wear to prom. I bought this Big Eyes waterproof mascara that I thought I would like, but um, I really like it for the bottom lashes. That's two ends. I really like it for the bottom lashes. I'm not too sure about the top lashes. I'm just trying some few things out. Um, I bought this Infallible Pro Matte um, shade for my sister. She's a little bit lighter than me, and I like shades that I can mix with other foundations. So I like to get a light, medium, and a darker shade so I can, um, you know, work with them, blend them together, mix them together, um, and do things like that. So I just got a lighter shade for my sister and for her friend as well. And I got the Infallible uh, Makeup Extender Setting Spray, um, which is this one. It's just a makeup setting spray um, and then I got some uh, hairspray for my hair this is the freeze it hair care freeze frame mega freeze extreme hold hair spray <laughs> and it's just a really really I really like I've been using it to tame my little baby hairs and everything and it's worked really really great I got the essence eyeliner pen and waterproof it's just a felt tip eyeliner you guys I know you guys can't see that but it's been one of my favorite eyeliners, and I definitely want to wear eyeliner that day. I got the Essence Make Me Brow, which is one of my favorite brow, um, like, gels or whatever you can call it. Um, or gel mascara, that's what it says on there. I got the Milani Prime Shield. This is the first time I'm using it today. I'm going to see how I like it. I don't know if it's really going to prime. I don't know how it's going to do, so I have this all over my face. And then I got just a light setting powder for my sister and her friend and anybody else who I could use it on. And this is a Milani Face Powder in O2 Light Medium. I want to share some songs that I've been obsessed with lately with you guys. So the first one is called Clean by Natalie Graham. And I listened to this song, and I was like, more at the toughest, like it was one of the toughest points in my life. Whenever I had like, I wasn't with AJ. I felt like I wasn't worthy. I felt like I wasn't perfect. I feel like I wasn't anything. I always fall into those kind of holes in my life. I feel like a rejection for me is really hard. And then whenever it happens, I don't feel worthy, I don't feel loved, I don't like, I just feel sorry for myself at one point. But then at that point, I'm like, God, like, can you ever fix me? Like, can, can you even do this? Like, I'm so broken, I'm so cold, can you even do this? And so this song came on and it's Clean by Natalie Grant. I'll give you guys just a little, like, So that's been like one of my all time favorite songs whenever I don't feel like I'm good enough. Whenever I feel like I, he just can't fix me. Songs I feel like just really speak to my soul. Um, we'll see which one else. 
in the eye of the storm. Okay, so that's been one of my favorite songs. Actually, it really, it was raining, pouring rain. Um, and we're like in the flat, flood flash or flash flood morning. One of those. Um, and like everything was like flooding, literally. And we were driving through the rain, through the horrible rain, which was a big mistake. Um, and the song came on. I'm like, this is so funny. Like the way the song comes on in the middle of like the storm, the actual storm. And I just sat there and I just kind of meditated over my storms in life. And how in everything he's there and so it's just really helped me out with that it's been a great great um song that really whatever you sing it in the eye of the storm and wherever it's pouring rain whenever it's thundering it like becomes a visual too you're like he's here like this is how my life is it's storming it's raining it's thundering it's trying to hit me girl there's gonna be a tornado but then guess what he's in the midst of it all and it just it's just like a really clear visual wherever you are in the storm like a little like literally a storm if you play this song it just becomes so like it, it just becomes so real to you you're like this is how my life was this is how I was feeling this is how much tears came out of my face not probably literally but this is how you felt like this is how how many like tears came down but he's there no matter what whether that be whatever it is that be death life heartache heartbreak whatever it is he's there but so they're old songs probably but they're ones that i've just really enjoyed listening to late okay guys so that is it for this video this weekly vlog for you guys if you guys haven't seen last week's vlog i will link it down below put it in the i bar if i forget please let me know in the comments down below because i always forget about the links links i'm so bad at links um but that's it for my half Thank you guys for watching. I'll say goodbye because I didn't say goodbye in the weekly vlog. So the next little half that you guys are going to watch is the weekly vlog. What I recorded of last week's vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And if you guys like more of these sit-down videos, let me know. I love to film these kind of videos for you guys. I love to sit down and just speak to you guys. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! Okay, I'm going to do that better. Bye, guys. <laughs> You guys, Anthony drew the whole family. He is so good, and he knew that there was four of us. He drew each one of us. That's my dad, that's my mom, that's my sister, that's me. Wow, and he just repeated that to me like three times, and he said Mommy, all of them me, were in that order. Mommy. So it was daddy, mommy, sissy, and him. And we all have our different, like, we're all different. And I love that. I love that, Tonio. So what's what's this on the faces? Is that some hair? No, or? that's some eyes. Oh, that's okay. That's some eyes. That's the nose. That's the nose. That's the wow, nose. Good that's the nose. And that's me with those silly eyes. I know you're so silly. I'm sad. You're sad. Why are you sad? Cause my sister knocked down my 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 toy. Oh, but you should be super happy. You should be super happy because you're alive. And your family loves you. Look, mommy and daddy love you. Now I'm smiling. Now you're smiling? Yeah. Oh, look at that. He's so good. Aaliyah is over there. Hi, Aaliyah, boo. Hi, Aaliyah, bear. Hi, Aaliyah. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, is that a raw egg? <laughs> no. My, my dad let no, me nice. hold an egg. Your dad let you hold an egg? Yeah. Your Dad, can oh. I hold the egg? But if something yeah. happened to you, yeah. Tonio. Be careful, okay? Yes, don't drop it on the floor. So right? much responsibility. <laughs> Why, Dad? Don't Is she holding the egg? Is she holding the egg? Be careful, okay? Squeeze it too hard, you'll break it. Yeah. I told her to be careful. She said, okay. And she drops it down, but she's like, it slams it down. <laughs> yeah. No, Mama, you say you, your dad can take care of you. AJ, take her with the egg. Anthony, no. Oh my goodness, it's giving me anxiety. <laughs> okay, I need to leave. I can't yes. do this. This used to be.
Again, your stickers. Your nose runny? Yeah. You got stickers? What kind of stickers? Spider-Man and Hot Wheels. Cool. Thank <laughs> you.